Hello everyone, I'm Epic Gnome, and welcome to a brand new series. We're going to be playing Banish, the Colonial Charters mod. So let's get started. Now I'm going to leave the terrain type and size and all that the same, but I do want to change the name. I've thought of the perfect name for our city. Gnomeville. <laughs> Alright, let's hop right in. Now, what this mod does is it adds a ton of new buildings and new production trees and stuff like that. Now, I haven't watched any playthroughs or anything like that, so I'm going to be going into this pretty blind. So, to start off, let's go ahead and pause the game and get all my all displays and stuff like that set up and ready. And then we'll start plopping some buildings down. There we go. Alright, let's have a look, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, a quick look around and see if there's any deer or anything like that. Seems like we've started in a pretty dry area for animals. And there's not a whole lot of trees really close by to the village either. So I think what we'll do to start off our food production is start off with some, with a fishing shack, fishing dock, whatever. We'll set it right over here. Let's rotate it, get it out over the water. There. Now, to make sure that our people can get to it fairly quickly. Oh, wow, there's a lot of new roads. Brick. Nice. Wooden bridge, stone bridge, tunnel. I like all this. But for right now, a dirt road will do just fine. So, let's run it this way and straight over to the town. That'll do. Okay, and we'll tell our people to kind of clear-cut this area, because we don't really need anything out here. Alright, that should do. Now, let's go ahead. I think I'm going to set up a couple of houses, too, but let me zoom in and uh, get a little bit of the roads ready, just to help plan the city a little better. Alright, bring this road down to here. And I think what we'll do is just have all the houses kind of on this side of the road for right now. We're going to need at least four for our startup area. Ooh, lots of new houses too. Nice. Country house, town abode, large residence. Nice, I like that. Oh, we can build tiny shacks now. Small and basic dwelling for three people. Hmm. But I think for right now, we're going to go ahead and just build the wooden house. And that way, it I think it should provide a little better than the, oh, tiny shack. Alright. And let's see. One more right here. Oh, we're going to need another. Now, normally it's not such a great idea to build the road so early on, but I just figured I'd go ahead and do this to help plan out the city a little better there and one more house right here yeah okay now let's go ahead and unpause the game and I'm gonna set it to 5x just so that they'll do things a little bit faster so we don't have to wait so long oh whoops I forgot one of my tools uh, right here Wow this thing is massive compared to the other one dang Okay, well, we're definitely going to need some builders. According to this, they have room for 10 builders, but I'm not going to go that high. I think we're going to start off with just putting 6 builders and 4 laborers. And let's get the game going again. See what happens. Now, I really need to make sure that we have food production and firewood production and all that set up before winter comes. Otherwise, this won't end very well. I'm just kind of reading through what all they have. A bootlegger. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, a sailor. Hmm. Cool. Glass maker. An ale wench. <laughs> they added a ton of stuff to this. That's really cool. Ooh, they working hard. They are really tearing through stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and close this for now because it takes up a huge portion of the oh, screen. All right. Oh, they've added new trees, too. I don't recall seeing all uh, little red and black or purple, whatever color that is, trees before. Oh, look, there's some deer. I didn't see them before. That's cool. But I'm not going to really worry with that too much right now. 
I want to mainly get the fishing hut started and get their houses going so that they'll have a place to live. Now, another thing I do want to build pretty early on is a forester's lodge. Just to make sure that they can uh, take care of the trees and stuff a little better. Wow, there's so much. It, it's hard to kind of see what you're looking for with all this stuff here. It's like, oh, I gotta see it all. Okay, there we go, Forester's Lodge. Um, I want it a little ways away from the uh, actual town, so I think what I'm gonna do is put it kind of out here. And we'll rotate it towards the town. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put it like that. Yeah. Okay, that'll probably take them quite a while to get out here and start building it. So I'm not gonna worry with it too much right now. Once it's built, though, I'll run the road out here to it. Okay, good. So, we've got our fishing hut up. So, the first thing we want to do is make sure to put some fishermen on that. We're going to have a total of four. So, I'm going to take two of the builders off and put them immediately to fishing. Now, normally I would just fill it up, but I kind of want to get... Oh, okay, well, that was quicker than I figured. Most of the houses have already been built. So, I'm going to cut our builders down to two and max out the fishermen just to ensure that we have plenty of food for the coming winter because the house and the uh forester's lodge aren't quite as important and we're doing all right on uh, logs right now we are going to also need to get a all uh, wood cutter up so that we can produce the firewood that we're going to need i think it's in here as well yeah wood cutter Ooh, they've got a sawmill now, too. Produces firewood faster and allows up to three cutters to work. Cool. But anyway, a simple wood cutter will work for right now. I think I'm going to set him right next to the barn here so that they don't have to travel quite as far. There we go. All right. Nice. Now, to ensure that we have... Whoop, <laughs> wrong button. <laughs> Sorry about that. To ensure that we have plenty of... Uh, trees and stone and all that i'm gonna go ahead and tell them to chop out this area as well just to be positive there we go okay now just let them work oh we got a new uh worker awesome let's make sure that we get them doing their job okay we have five laborers so i'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of more into builders just so that we can get the all uh, foresters lodge going a little quicker if I recall, I'd set it... Yeah, it's right here. Awesome. And as soon as they finish with that, well, I'll go ahead and uh, set up the road and all. Now, right now, though, I do want to tell them to go ahead and be collecting stone all through here. Because the less stone there is here, the uh, easier time it is for the foresters. They'll be able to set up a lot more uh, trees and stuff out here. And we'll have them collect the iron as well. All right, so, so far, everything's going pretty good. Okay, we need a woodcutter real quick. Let's get them started. Uh, wow. Like I said, there's so much, it's hard to find what you're looking for. Uh, give me just a minute, I know I'll find it. <laughs> there it is, woodcutter. Okay, we just need one person to do that, so that's good. Yeah, the reserve of firewood is low, so it's a good thing we got that going pretty early. Alright. <laughs> Sometimes I really enjoy just kind of starting the game up and watching them run around and stuff. Oh, we got a new child born, Harry. Cool. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's just about full. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game because it takes me a little bit of time to find all that. There we go. Storage. Oh, wow. That is a lot of storage. Hmm. Grain silo, root cellar, meat locker, cool. Dry storage, bank barn. Hmm, cool. Uh, but for right now, we just gonna we're just gonna build a simple stockpile. We'll just put it right behind in this little square here behind the houses. That should be more than enough than we'll ever need. All right, let's get the game going and watch what happens. Now, for some reason, we still have some homeless people, even though, wow, all of these houses are filled up already? Dang. Didn't expect that. We've still got five homeless. Hmm. 
Okay, well, we'll have to go ahead and build a couple of more houses, I guess. Didn't expect to do that so early on, but whatever. Whoop. Okay, there we go. And put another one right there. Now, hopefully, two extra houses will solve our problem. Because they really need a place to stay. Now, I saw that there was a sailor, but I'm not really seeing anything for, oh, like docks or anything. Of course, I haven't looked through it all yet, either. Still got the hospital and all. Is there any... Oh, a parish house. Hmm, small communities. That's cool. An abbey. Back alley. That's hilarious. Resource production. Ropery. That's cool. Silkworm hut. Huh. Oh, wait, that says for your shoreline. Good. For, oh, cool. Harbor areas. Warm home for your shoreline. Cool. And then we have the decorative items. I think we should go ahead and build them a privy just in case. <laughs> uh, hmm. Where to put it, though? We don't want them to have to walk too far from their house to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I think I'll just set it right here in between the barn and the storage area and let them build that. <laughs> That's really cool that they thought to put that in there. I like that. Okay, how's the Forester Lodge coming? Uh, not that great, actually. They've only removed one of the 11 trees and stuff that they need to. But, like I said, I wasn't in any big hurry for that because we've still got a lot of area up here being cleared. So that's not a huge deal. Alright, now, I wonder if we have any kind of seeds. Uh, not in the barn, for sure. Not out here, either. Hmm. I figured it said we should start off with some seeds, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh, well. Ooh, wharf and ship. But we need rope for that. Use the fish whale, seal, and lobster. Cool. That's definitely something to look at. Sugar house, bakery, and apiary. Cool. Oil press. Hmm. There's a lot of new stuff in here. Uh, well, the thing about it is, it's not saying we have any kind of seeds or anything, so I'd hate to all uh, build something like that, and then it's not going to do us any good. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and build a crop field, though, just in case. And kind of plop it right there. Just see if we have any seeds. And if so, we can go ahead and have it producing some stuff. Now, is there any jobs that we need to fill? Like, really importantly. Um, I'm not seeing anything. We're full-on fishermen. We don't really have that much going right now, but... Just wanted to make sure that everything was covered. Okay, ooh, good. They're doing a lot of work to the Forester's Lodge right now, so that's great. It's almost done, actually. Uh-oh. That's not good. It says these people don't have any food. Hmm. Are we that low on food? Oh, yeah, it looks like it. That's not good. The fishermen are having kind of a hard time. Um... And I'm not really seeing any animals around either, so that sucks. I think I'm going to go ahead and out here by the Forester's Lodge, go ahead and put up a all oh, gatherer's hut too. Now, if I recall, I had it facing this way, so we'll do the same thing with the uh, gatherer's hut. All right. That way they can kind of work together to get some more food and firewood going for us. Now, of course, I'll have to clear that out again. But that shouldn't be too bad. I probably shouldn't have had them start clearing this whole huge area right off the bat. Yeah, because we're completely out of food and it's the middle of winter. Fortunately, though, we haven't lost anyone yet, so that's good. Okay, and we're full up on firewood, but I'm going to go ahead and raise the limit. Just to make sure that oh, we have plenty, plenty left over. And looks like Theradan has come of age and is working now, so that's one extra worker for us. 
Do we need any builders? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and max out our builders so that they can get that stuff down here built as quickly as possible. Okay, nice, good. Forester's Lodge just finished. Okay, Forester, where's that at? Dang, it's so hard to look through. There, okay, we need four Foresters, so I'm gonna go ahead and max it out to make sure that we have plenty of firewood. And that'll only leave us with one laborer, but the builders will chop stuff down if anything's in their way. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is, uh... Oh, they're already... Okay, well, let's raise their log limit. I think what I'm gonna do for this first uh, episode is just see if we can make it through winter in the summer for the first episode. Oh, we got a new child, Andon. Welcome, Andon. He'll be an adult, or she, whatever, will be an adult in a, a short while on here. Alright, and we took care of our homeless problem. We're into late winter, and we've still got food. Nobody's starved to death, so that's good. Uh, but we're definitely going to need some more food production for next year, without a doubt. Alright, now our Forester's Lodge is going finally. I'm going to go ahead and build that road out here. Just to make positive that the people can get here. And I'm going to build it right past the uh, gatherer's hut as well. And we'll... Sh Whoa. Didn't want it to go all weird like that. Don't know why it did that. Dirt road cannot be placed in this location. Huh. Wonder why. Well, let's place it to there. Okay, I don't know why it's going so weird, but whatever. That'll work. Kind of a odd shape for a road. Oh, wow, it's early spring already? That's crazy. And we didn't lose anybody. That is amazing. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here for now, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.